Environmentalists are intensifying pressure on the government to bring an end to a long-standing issue, the future of the cockpit country. They have outlined a list of demands for the preservation of the area. This as stakeholders in the bauxite industry continue to express interest in mining close to the forest reserve. Cabinet is to deliberate on the matter next week, but at the same time, a petition is in circulation in a bid to prevent mining in and around the area. TVJ's Janella Prisius reports. Environmentalists have dubbed Friday as Save Cockpit Country Day. They're in a rush to get 15,000 signatures in a petition to the government demanding, among other things, that cockpit country be closed to mining and quarrying, that the area be declared a protected national park, and for the establishment of a boundary. So far, there are over 13,000 signatures. The fight to preserve cockpit country spans over a decade. Bauxite interests have expressed a desire to explore sections of the area for mining purposes. In fact, in 2004, Alcoa was given a special exclusive prospecting license which gave the company the okay to search for bauxite within sections of St. Anne and Trelawney, the home of the cockpit country. Noranda received a similar license in 2015. Environmentalists have long argued that mining would result in deforestation, pollution, hurt special plants and animals in the area, and it will also see the displacement of the Akampong Maroons who reside in a section of the area. On Thursday, we put the issues to the head of the National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, Peter Knight. We have been part of discussions at different levels, including at the Cabinet, past and present government, so it is, it, it would be remiss of me to try and, um, the policy, at the policy level, and the political level. The ministers need to speak to that. All right, so in terms of it, th these discussions that you speak of, does it include the boundary for cockpit country? It includes uh, a number of things, Janela. I don't wish to comment any further on it. When contacted, Minister with Responsibility for the Environment, Daryl Vaz, said the matter is being treated with urgency. He added that Cabinet will review the reports from all stakeholders on Monday. Once that review has been completed, the Holness government will make a decision on the way forward. The cockpit country is the largest remaining natural forest reserve in Jamaica. It is home to over 70 species of birds, 100 endemic types of plants, and 22 species of reptiles. The area also has historical significance. It's where members of the Maroons sought refuge when they escaped the plantation in the 18th century. Janela Presius, TVJ News.